Starting with the known equation for period, which is this one right here, t squared equals 2 pi times um, the square root of l divided by g. So we're going to manipulate the formula to look for g. So the first thing you have to do is you have to find slope formula and then formula, and you set that equal to g. Um, so those are the two things that we have to kind of accomplish within the minute that we have. Um, and to do this, we have to first find the slope, and the slope is equal to 2 pi, or the, sorry, the period squared over L. Um, and the good thing is that since we already linearized the data, the data is already squared, meaning that we don't have to find the slope because it's already given to us in our equation that we had, which our equation is um, y equals 2.79x r squared equals 1. And this is correct because our length was 1. So we know that that was right. Um, and then we, knowing this information, we can kind of um, manipulate it to find the slopes. This is what the slope is equal to. And then after we find this, we need to manipulate our equation for g. So right here, we have that listed. So we start with the same equation again. Period is equal to 2 pi times the square root of l divided by g. And then we square both sides again to get rid of the radical. And then we have t squared over 4 pi squared, because you just distribute the squared, equals l divided by g. And then we solve for g, remember? So then you just get 4 pi squared over g. And then we plug in our values. So we have our slope, which is 2.79. We divide it by 1, which is just our length. Um, and then we get 4 pi squared over g. And then we just divide by 2.79 on both sides, and we get g is equal to 14.08 meters per second squared. Now, typically, if you were on a planet, you would think that it would have to be 9.8 because it, typically planets are gravitational dependent. But since this is an unknown um, gravity value or gravitational value, it's gravitational independent because we don't have 9.8 meters per second as our g value. We have 14.08 meters per second squared. But we know this is right because we linearized the data correctly because our equation was equal to 1. So don't fret if this isn't equal to 9.8 because it should be equivalent to some type of value that is close to 14 meters per second.